So welcome back for another pickup video, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, uh, please hit that subscribe button. That's all we ever ask. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks again for supporting the channel so much. Okay, um, we've got 80 items to get through, so let's get right into it. Uh, first off, we'll start off with this one here. Uh, I found a backup, even though I don't have one. But it will be when I finally buy one, a uh, Nintendo Switch docking bay port, whatever you want to call it, Switch docking bay. So that's nice and simple. Uh, I should say it's a collection of movies, games, and VHS, DVDs, that kind of thing. So uh, I found um, OG Ninja Turtle Leonardo. 1980 something i can't read the date on the bottom doesn't have his weapons or whatever but um it's a nice find because i do have a couple other og ones as well um let's get rid of some vhs here why not um i should stay probably these are the ones i'm not keeping and then this pile is the stuff that i'm keeping that's part of not keeping. So we got Mad Max on VHS. Which is a great, great movie. I love the original one. Uh, Wishmaster. Don't know what this is. It's a Wes Craven movie, but it stars uh, uh, Robert Englund, who's Freddy. Uh, what's his name? Kane Hodder, who's Jason. And then Tony Todd, who plays Candyman. I've never seen this one, but I kind of don't really have any interest in keeping it for some reason. Uh, but that may change. I don't know. Maybe I'll watch it. I can't imagine it's any good. Jeez. Uh, Conan the Barbarian. already have that, but one of my favorite uh, movies from a kid, uh, E.T. The uh, green, green tape version. And it's a copy of Starship Troopers. Fun movie. I think I appreciate it more. It's an interesting sticker. What is that? I appreciate this movie more um, than when I first saw it originally. I think it was kind of, I thought it was kind of stupid and silly. And then, you know, as you sort of understand it, that's what the whole idea and premise was. It was meant to be sort of that campy, campy space fair. Uh, a stack of audio cassettes, some of which I don't have, so that I need to check. Uh, Full Moon Fever, I know I have that one. Uh, White Snake, White Snake, White Snake, White Snake. I don't think I'm going to keep that one. I don't have this one, so I will keep this one. Motley Crue, Theater of Pain. Let's put that in the key pile. Uh, Warrant, Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinking Rich. This was one of my OG ones that I had as a kid. I remember buying it off of, uh, what was that, online? Columbia House. That's what it was. And I had no idea who the hell they were. Uh, Skid Row. I don't think I'm going to keep this one. White Snake slide it in. That was a thing back in the day, right? All these innuendos in the title. I have this one, obviously. Really nice copy of uh, Who Made Who. So I don't know. I think I have it. Put that on Navy Pile. I don't know. I think I might have that one now. And then Aerosmith uh, pump. Bit of a hair metal rock band selection there. Uh, I've got this uh, Star Trek OG Season 1 Original Series DVD, HD DVD set. It's kind of interesting. It opens up like that. Pops out like so. Comes with all these, uh, well, 
these collector cards in the back that actually describe. So it'd be like that. And then like on the back, it would describe the episode. Episodes that were on the disc, right? That's kind of a neat feature. And then obviously double-sided discs, so one side's HD, one side's the standard DVD format. There we go. Um, I already have this. Just in case you're wondering, this really clean set of Pikachu, official Nintendo Pikachu uh, headphones. I don't think I showed this to you guys before. So I just wanted to make sure. I don't know, really cool. I, I'm not keeping them, in case you're wondering. Uh, I've got a stack of uh, GameCube controllers, I know, or GameCube. Wii controllers, there's three Wii, three white uh, nunchucks, and then one red one. So, the red one I will keep, the white ones I don't need. Uh, what else? Yeah, let's go through the stack here. This is a movie, One Step Beyond, four chilling episodes. Before the Twilight Zone, there was One Step Beyond. All black and whites there. Uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Haven't played any of these Harry Potter games, though. I, I've noticed they've actually gone up a little bit in price. I'm tempted to keep this just because it's an OG Xbox. I'm not really coming across Xbox games that I don't have as much, but meh. Need for Speed Most Wanted. Fun game. Skate 3. Uh, this one, I think I need to double check. I think I have this one. Formula One uh, Championship Edition. I should double check that one, though. Grand Theft Auto Five, And then Exobox, you know, you don't really come across that much. Splat Magazine, Renegade, Paintball. we got mm, superman returns for 360 find the 360 games have been going up in price a lot lately um i don't have that one but i'm just sort of not really that interested into it i thought this was cool a blockbuster case and this is the limited edition comic book inside turtles smash up so that's it there So the comic book is actually, that's the manual, and there's the, uh, the comic book. So it's just got, you know, a comic based on the game. How oh, cool, eh? Blockbuster case, little blockbuster name there. I'm tempted just to keep the case, to be honest with you. But I, I do have this game already. And I do have the comic book one. Uh, Tech and Tag Tournament. I'm just not a fighter guy. And Soul Calibur 2. This is supposed to be an upgrade, but I have no idea where my other one is. So I'll put it aside for right now, but I don't know if I can be bothered to find that. RC Pro Am. I have it already. Turtles VHS. Uh, Pizza by the Shred, number eight. Forty-seven minutes, so it must be like a mini episode, right? Uh, I thought this was just kind of cool. Witches Night Out. I don't know what it is. Family horror, comedy, cartoon special. Still sealed. I don't know. 
Chaotic Shadow Warriors. It's weird. The cover looks sort of cool. And then it goes like uh, Xbox 360 Family Games. So is it like a kid game? It's almost like... Um, sort of reminds me of Gargoyles for some reason. Need for Speed Rivals. Got it. Max Payne 3. I've only played the first one. I haven't tried these later ones. So I've got no idea if this one's any good. Anthem. Uh, still sealed. Just kind of don't. I think I have this one already. And then Batman, uh, the original movie. Special edition. There's two different covers. I like this cover better. I think the other cover has um, Burt Ward and, and Robin on it. Uh, here's a white Panasonic uh, CD Walkman. How do you open this? So that's kind of cool. Um, here's some more VHS that I'm going to be, these are, just, these are the things I'm keeping. So I've got Psycho widescreen edition, and then just regular Psycho. I don't think there's anything, I don't think there's anything special with these ones. Nope. Uh, Italian job, the, the OG one with Michael Caine. Super light tape, like that's that's short, isn't it? I don't know if you can see the length on that, but I don't remember that movie being that that short. And then I already showed you one, but this one's better condition. So, and I think I have one already, but I don't know if it's the green. Another copy of ET. And then, I'm not hot about this, but I think I'm going to end up keeping them. Superman 1 and 2. Uh, yep. Yeah. I think this might have been part of like a Superman collection, so it might have been part of like a box set. But surprisingly, I don't have those yet. And then I don't have this one either on VHS Apocalypse Now. So I'll keep the nose. Uh, this is to be added to my ongoing collection of rock or music DVDs and concert footage. Aerosmith Live, You Gotta Move. And Heart Live, this is on the sound stage. I do have another Heart. Uh, CD or DVD, but um, <clears throat> I don't remember where it is now. <coughs> Excuse me. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. <coughs> Excuse me. What I like about this one is this. It doesn't say on the front cover, but this is the 30th anniversary ultimate <coughs> edition. So what that means is on the back, it's got the original theatrical edition, the special edition, and then the director's cut. <coughs> so all three versions are on that Blu-ray. And then this was a movie that I enjoyed watching as a kid um, from some of the creators of Monty Python and that Monty Python feel, uh, Time Bandits. Surprisingly depressing ending. Uh, it sort of messes you up as a kid. <clears throat> I just like the cover of this one. So I think that's why I'm going to keep it. Uh, double double feature sci fi, two sci fi classics Phantom from Space and The Phantom from 10,000 Leagues. So these are two black and whites, obviously. 
but uh, yeah, just an interesting cover. Might check it out. <clears throat> Not my favorite doctors. Obviously, I prefer the more OG ones like Tom Baker and such. But uh, Doctor Who, the complete first series. To be honest, I don't, how do these look on the inside? I don't remember now. Okay. So it's just like, obviously like a bunch of TARDISes that continually open up. There we go. Uh, was he the, was that the first Doctor after they decided to return after a while? I think so, right? And then the other one is the complete uh, fourth series. I was actually trying to remember where this redhead, I had seen her before, and she's actually um, near the end of the American Office TV series. Uh, she was the temporary boss that came in for a while, I think. Uh, grab this just because it looked cool. Witchblade. I know a little bit of it just based on some comics. This is volume two. What is it? Some sort of like a... She has like a gauntlet or a glove or something that transforms her and then allows her to like sort of... Ah, uh, shoot. <clears throat> I forget the other guy, the other comic, but... Um, You know, sort of allows her to like uh, manifest like a cape or something or have like special attacks or stuff that can come out of it. I forget exactly. All right. Formula One 2012. These look really realistic. I'll have to try them out sometime. It's been, a, I've never really, never tried them to be honest with you. Uh, can't go wrong with these ones. Legends of WrestleMania. Why would you not want to have that? Soul Calibur 5. Yeah, I've never tried these ones. Um, I don't think they're very popular. But uh, Darksiders and Darksiders 2. I don't know why that series never really seemed to have taken off, but uh, Devil May Cry 4. I've only played the first Devil May Cry. Prey. And Overlord. And then our final stack. Go into this one pretty quick. Hmm. Here's a couple more shows here. Uh, I do have the first season. Now I've got the second season of Breaking Bad. Doctor Who, the Christmas special. That's a fun one. Uh, Lego Avengers for a system that I still don't have. There's a sticker on the back here. One day I'll find myself an Xbox One. Cheap. Label Batman 3. Harry Potter. You know, I said I'm keeping this one, but I'm not keeping the three the OG Xbox one. I don't know. Just Cause 4. I've played this series and finished it on the PS4. Uh I think I have this for the PS2, if I remember correctly, but this is the Xbox version. Uh, Buffy Chaos Bleeds. Pretty sure it's on the PS2. 
uh, Far I finished Far Cry 5 just recently, and this is Far Cry Vengeance on the Wii. I want to try this. I'm sort of like into these sim games, but I don't know if this will be good or not. Farming Simulator 17. And then finally, uh, we've got, I've been collecting these for the uh, PS3. Three PS3 and I forgot the other console, Wii, but uh, Fishing Frenzy 2009 for 360. They just look fun, I know. And then finally, uh, I didn't realize this was on it, but uh, Turok for the 360. All right, try to get through that one quickly. Uh, thanks, guys. Um, like you said, this is the key pile. And if there's anything that I said that I'm not keeping that you think I should, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Leave me a reason why. Um, or if there's something that I'm keeping you think is garbage and I should chuck it, let me know too. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you again with another pickup video very soon.